This week's Hometown Happenings is brought to you by the Detroit Lakes School District. Welcome to Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy here today at uh, M State, Minnesota Technical College, Community and Technical College here in Detroit Lakes, along with uh, Detroit Lakes School Superintendent Doug Froke. And uh, the reason why we're sitting here at M State on this January afternoon is the Detroit Lakes School District is looking into options um, for building to, to uh, get more space, uh, to provide more space for students and learning. And this option of uh, possibly partnering with M State came up probably mid-December. Yeah, I would, I would say that's probably fairly accurate, Carol. You know, we've we just uh, really started taking a look at, you know, available available land options and those kinds of things. And and really, you know, as we sit and look at some of the opportunities that kids are are experiencing, especially at the high school level with post-secondary, and it was kind of like right in your own backyard. And and certainly it, it, it met a lot of the things that or it meets a lot of the things that the, the, the public has told us about what they want in a in a potential new building and that it's it's right here in town. Uh, the, the acreage is sufficient enough to to do something, whatever that something may be in terms of construction. And so um, it's a it's a real neat, neat partnership in that two state agencies, school districts being an arm of state government, and of course the M State as part of the Minsky system, two state agencies working together to to enhance the educational offerings for its kids. Well, it's quite a concept, and how did it all come to pass? I mean, you've had a lot of community meetings uh, up until this point, and I mean, that it says something for for the community meetings because a member of the community came forth with the idea. Yeah, that's kind of the that's what happened, and it, it was uh, we had I, it, we had some meetings, and and we had uh, we obviously we've been asking for input from the public for a long time since uh, the November 2013 election, and 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 so we did have some uh, a community member come forward with the concept of of uh, what is the what is the situation with M State and all of a sudden when you start thinking about it why not co-locate and and so yeah we we started looking at that we put together an idea and a concept for uh, the leadership here at M State and met with them and they liked the idea and and then what we also had to do was was see because we are dealing with state land um, what would be the interest level at not only at the with the at the at the leadership level of Minskew, um, but also at the leadership level of the Department of Education, and and both of those uh, agencies, if you will, are are uh, uh, right behind us. I mean, they just think it's a real neat idea and they're they're willing to help provide resources um, to help help develop the plan and so that's what we're working on right now okay uh here with doug froke at m state in detroit lakes we're talking about an option uh the detroit lake school district is exploring uh to expand uh classrooms uh looking at uh high school uh kids obviously coming over to this area um one of three options the school district is looking at i mean those those other two options are still on the table absolutely we actually have about three options that are still on the table that w that will will continue to look at and explore um, this one has a lot of uh, a lot of twists to it. Obviously, it's unfortunate that because that's the way state government works, and and to try and get two separate pieces of state government to work together will be will be uh, a, a little bit of an effort or an ac a little bit of an exercise. So uh, we'll go down that 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 uh, road um, at at uh, at the very start of the of the issue. Is of course is the land, and and can what can the school district do on land that may be theirs or may not be theirs and and vice versa so we've got to we've got to take a look at that what we're allowed to do by law maybe what we need to get in terms of legislation that would allow us to work together um, so uh, those things all have to be vetted here in the next few weeks and we just happen to have obviously the legislature now convening and and starting its work for uh, the the 2015-16 biennium so that's a nice thing um, so anyway that's what we're working on and and, you know, the, the thing about it is is that, that the beauty of it all is, is that options are wide open. It, it could be a connected facility. It doesn't have to be. And, and uh, the, obviously the geographic proximity, if it weren't, 
were such that it, it wouldn't be an obstacle for a student if they wanted some uh, concurrent enrollment classes or PSEO classes to walk across maybe a parking lot and 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 come in and enjoy what what M State has to offer and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. It's a it's an exciting idea, uh, one that that I think. Uh, makes sense. We're working together, and I think that's what our public wants from state from state agencies, from their local governmental efficiencies, uh, local governmental agencies, is to work together, and and that's what this plan does. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and be back with more with our conversation with the superintendent Doug Froke after this. Welcome back to Hometown Happenings here with the Superintendent Doug Froke from Detroit Lakes School Districts at M State in Detroit Lakes. We're here today talking about a, a new option the school district is exploring to help expand its classrooms as it's growing and busting at the seams, as it were. Um, so, Superintendent Froke, talk a little bit about uh, you know what the concept is for M State. I know there aren't a lot of details right now. Uh, you're looking at uh, maybe coming up with a better package full of all the, the costs and all that stuff good stuff coming up, but uh, tell us what the basic concept would be uh, for this specific location. Basically what we're looking at is, a, is a Carol, a, a, a co-location effort in that, in that uh, a, you know, almost like a one-stop shop. Uh, you know, our high school kids now under law, as soon as you get into 10th grade, you're allowed to access post-secondary enrollment options. In other words, you can take college classes. Um, and so in 10th grade, that, that can happen now. Um, and so obviously it, it has, uh, the, the idea has some real economic value for moms and dads and students uh, as they're able to take college classes, so um, that's kind of uh, that, that's kind of the backdrop. The, the, again, the idea would be that that uh, to ease the space issues in our buildings, um, that we would build something out here. Uh, we know that um, we probably have to do something a little bit different with our freshmen or our ninth grade, uh, just because of the fact that the the, the age difference. Um, if we were to utilize existing M State facilities might be a might be a, a little bit of an issue we want to take care of that from parents and for students um, and so that that'll be part of the design framework um, and then also what you take a look at at uh, things like potentially our shops and and the shops that are available here we wouldn't necessarily need to duplicate those and why can't we use existing facilities here at M State for courses like that. But the beauty of this too is, is that as we take a look at where things are at, even Governor Dayton talked about it in his inaugural speech, is that the idea that uh, potentially a, a high school kid could graduate with a two-year degree. We have to think forward and, and, and we can build a building today um, to meet our high school needs, but thinking forward about what what kids need, what a high school is going to look like, and and enabling and and fostering community partnerships, in our and and enhancing our employee our employee base uh, here in Detroit Lakes. This is a perfect and a beautiful opportunity and a, a beautiful option to help that make that happen as we think out you know, maybe five years or 10 years and what a high school might look like. So that's the beauty of the option. All right, and so this is the first of its kind in the state, you know, this 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 partnership. The, we, th we think it might be, um, especially when we qualify it as a co-located uh, arrangement. There are other uh, uh, instances in the state, Anoka, Hennepin, where um, kids go to the campus, but the, their high school is maybe two miles away. You know, kids might go to that campus and get college classes. Um, at Alexandria, you know, the, the teachers, they're on their, own, their new campus, their new high school campus, but they may get classes at Alexandria Tech. Um, this is different in that it's on the same site. And that's what makes it really exciting, not only for for us as in the school business and for the obviously the people that came with the idea, but also then then M State too. So it, it's got great potential, and we we hope we can put a good plan together. All right, we're on the threshold of something big. It sounds like here in Detroit Lakes School District at an M State, and I really uh, thank you for coming and discussing this uh, further with us. And we'll see how this all unfolds. Thanks, Carol. You're doing a good job. Good job. All right, thanks. Uh, for TV3 Home. On happenings along with Doug Froke, Superintendent of Detroit Lake Schools. I'm Carol McCarthy.